So, man, 25 gamers. In today's gameplay breakdown, we're gonna actually be playing a, a snow game. I haven't played many of those, uh, but we're using the Minnesota Vikings. And remember, our playbooks we're using this week are the Cincinnati Bengals and the Miami Dolphins offensive playbook. So. Bengals on defense and uh, Miami on offense. Remember, the defense is primarily, uh, actually is 100%, the nickel normal uh, defensive guy that we put out, uh, that I put out on the uh, on the uh, YouTube channel this week. You can find all those setups uh, at my YouTube channel, as well as the offensive plays that I'm going to be breaking down today. Um, remember that our base play is the Sugar 3 Seam. Remember to also check the depth chart out. Uh, if you have not already seen the depth chart video, uh, I have a depth chart video on my YouTube channel, I believe. So here we go. He's going to like start out with a read option. Uh, actually, a play action pass. I got this guy right here, user controlling him. And I'm going to force RG3 to run. Uh, and the reason I'm going to force RG3 to run the ball is because if he runs, he might get 15 yards. I had a dude in position there. If he passes uh, and, and forces me to come up, then I'm going to have to come up. It's going to force uh, easy passes over my head, uh, which is going to allow him easy yardage. Alright, so now we see RG3, kind of what he's doing here. Rolled to the right last time. Probably going to be read option here. And there we go. And that's one of the things that a lot of people are not doing good when running read option is they only want to run with their quarterback. They're not taking the actual run and uh, using it the way it should be ran. So there, I just committed to the quarterback. Alright, here, oh, we got two man under. Uh, so I'm just going to run our max coverage setup here. Looks like some uh, tight doubles, uh, tight double single back. Probably a drag here, yeah. I'm on that. And he's probably going to swear that spy. Got to get over there. Ah! Dang, RG3 is good, man. It's tough because, like, you could put a spy there, but, like, they just they get through it. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good play by him. Pretty, pretty good user control. Uh, so it's up to me to stop that. No, that's on me. I should have had a contain over there. That's kind of a dumb thing playing one of the best running quarterbacks in the game and not having to contain okay so we're sending heat off the right edge here out of our base play sugar three seam uh... flats are open yep good read good read good read rg3 okay so just kind of filling him out here opening up uh... probably gonna need to call a little bit more coverage defense i find against mobile quarterbacks coverage defense is very effective because if they're not very accurate so if you can force them to have to sit in the pocket and try to throw the ball into tight place tight places um, typically it, it's actually a pretty good tactic here so we're gonna go with the nine velcro and I'm gonna use a tip uh, I'm just gonna go with spy and contain on that side of the field and I just have to kinda watch out for the flat stuff I got a press coverage here um, and there's a run to the quarterback and that's why I say option play quarterback because what happens is they get so wrapped up in trying to run with the quarterback that sometimes it just it just you know they just don't even hand the ball off even if it's open Okay, second and 12, a pretty good situation. I remember last time he ran with the quarterback on second and 12. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to send some pressure. Uh, I'm actually going to, and I don't normally uh, send pressure on second and long, but because he was running with the quarterback, I'm going to do it here. I'm going to drop a, a yellow and a buzz zone right there. And it's my job kind of to watch the streak to the tight end. There we go. And there's a fumble. That's a big stop by the defense. And um, you have to pass commit, though. That's one thing that a lot of people don't understand. Uh, if you're running the defense, the, the, the sugar defense, um, and they run a play action pass, if you pass commit, um, then they're not going to be able to get the ball off most of the time. However, you just have to make sure that you're pass committing. Uh, you don't want to just them call a play action pass and everybody gets picked up because uh, that is something a lot of people like to do this year. Alright guys, so offense is pretty simple, pretty meat and potatoes kind of stuff. Uh, we're going to run this ball a lot uh, with AP. Alright, and it's a lot of no huddle too. It's a lot of quick snap um, because the runs are so effective in this game. Uh, here, I really like to look for the counter he was giving me. Yep, there's the counter. Oh, what a play. Who was that? That's the one thing you don't want to do to get yourself in third and along with this team. Uh, we're going to go to our basic uh, passing play out of this. Uh, the vertical tight end cross. I think he may be blitzing off that left. No. Got the out route there. Oh, what a play by D'Angelo Hall. Ended up having a bad read. That was probably my, my mistake. I, I got caught up. I really... That's one of those plays where... That's one of those situations where... 
you get so caught up in looking at one route that you forget that there's other routes on the field, and I hit the out route late. So good defense by him there, shutting down the run early. Uh, normally don't get shut down like that. The run usually, they usually don't start stopping the run until they start run committing. So a really interesting tactic by him. I don't understand how... Uh, you know, maybe maybe he just got uh, some Madden some Madden love. I don't know. We'll see. But we did get a fumble, so I understand how Madden's going to pay him back with some good defense there on the stop. I'm not taking credit away. I'm just saying that it, uh, I'm still going to be trying to run the ball. I still trust that the, those runs are very effective in this game. So here, um, the idea here is just get the ball, uh, play the field possession game. It's fourth and thirteen with Josh Freeman's arm. You know, yeah, he has a cannon, but he's not a great at uh, he's not great uh, with accuracy. So I don't trust it. I'm going to play a field position game and um, try and lock up on defense here. So, okay, lock up here. Uh, first and 10, the situation. Uh, remember, he has been he was ran with, ran with RG3 a couple times uh, on, on these plays. So I have to make sure that there's pressure coming um, off of one edge and there's contains on the back side uh, to kind of prevent that rollout. And I'm going to go ahead and option play quarterback just in case he tries to run the read option. Oh my gosh, my zone. I got to do that with 80 zone coverage and he just sits there. Man, that's frustrating. It's like he just doesn't react to the freaking ball. It's a post shot coming right across his body. Gosh, dang, that's tough. Okay, so the defense, I mean, we're still kind of good with the possession battle because he got a turnover, I got a turnover. We're kind of right where we need to be. Um, it's just I cannot allow an easy score. Okay, just force RG3 to run the ball, or to hand the ball off here. Yep, he doesn't want to hand the ball off, see? That's what I'm saying. If they don't want to hand the ball off, just... Then they can't do anything. Okay, uh, here... I'm going to go ahead and go with the, uh, the max coverage D here. I need a contain on that side. Harrison Smith, you're garbage. Oh my gosh, it's twice in a row. Probably should have ran man. Uh, probably should have ran. The main reason I should have ran man is because man is very hard to beat. Uh, because it, they have to come to the inside. They, to beat man coverage in Madden 25, typically you're going to have to throw to the outside, it seems like. Um, so if they do that, well, where he was at on the field, it wasn't really a good. It wasn't really a good look. So that's probably a, a, a situation there. Where I should have gone with a man call and ended up making a bad call. I ended up paying for it. Uh, but once again, um, if you're running that, if you're running the max coverage defense on the in, inside the 10 yard line, put all of those uh, D blues and yeah, and hook zones if you have time. Uh, there you saw what happens if you don't. They're going to throw a slant underneath you and they don't even react to the ball just because of the game, the way the AI works. You have to kind of do everything yourself this year, which really kills. Uh, really kills me and a lot of other players that play this game because you can't you it, it's just like so hard to adjust it that fast whereas offense you don't have to do anything so you just quick snap whatever play you want oh 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 <laughs> my man Patterson all right so let's see if we can get a little drive going here let's let's try to let's try to not run the ball three times and get shut out on every run. Oh, I called the wrong play, too. I hate when that happens, like the lag thing. Called read option. I didn't mean to call it. So here we go. We got 3-3-5, three, three, I think. There's the inside zone split doing its thing. Yep, that's the... See, I mean, I knew it was some. I knew I'd get it eventually. That's one of these runs, like, they'll stop it every now and then, but, like, it's so hard to stop. And you can just quick snap, and it's just boom, 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 right in your face. And it's so and with AP, he's just such a monster in this game, like... Guys, this this was actually something I was really considering running for a while because it, it's such an effective run, um, but you have to mix in other stuff. And so that's why I ended up creating the whole scheme out of it where I go to other formations. Um, so here we're going to actually pass the ball here um, just to give him another uh, something else to think about. He didn't really cover the out routes last time. I'm going to throw a drag underneath. I know I don't normally do that, but I'm going to anyway this time. And we get the wheel route. That's what I'm saying. Like he, he'll start. You see that he starts coming down uh, to try to lock up the run. He'll start blitzing and blitzing and blitzing and blitzing. And what happens is when he does that, there's no one um, to stop Adrian Peterson on the out route, or, or excuse me, on the wheel route. So like that wheel route is such a simple hot route, but it's just open and you just it's simple, but it's effective. And that's what I love about this offense. I feel like it fits Minnesota really good. 
inside zone split. Uh, Gerhardt can run the inside zone split. When you run it with Gerhardt, you want to run it directly forward. Do not try to bounce it with him. He's not. That's not the type of runner he is. Uh, he can't make the big run. Uh, he's kind of one of those running backs that's like a Mike Allstott style where you're going downhill no matter what. So when you run the inside, if you're going to, you know, AP will eventually get tired. Uh, if you're going to run the ball when Gerhardt's in the game, you're going to need to make sure you are running the ball um, inside and you're going to make sure you're going to be going forward. Uh, you're not going to be trying to shake stuff or anything like that. You're not going to be trying to juke. All right, Peterson's back in the game here. See how aggressive he's getting? See how aggressive he's getting? And, like, this run, that was almost a touchdown. Like, 24 made a touchdown saving hit. And here, uh, this is where I like to quick snap the uh, the the devil's flex wing because of it's a little bit more of a power run. Uh, you see a direct ISO play. So, and then I'll motion Patterson across, and then just snap in the a gap, and just say, okay, I'm gonna try to get an inch. I mean, it's like just first down for an inch. And if I get through, I get through. And you see, AP is just, it's like it's almost a guaranteed two yards because of the blocking and the way it works. And that's why I like it so much. The quick snap off the no huddle because that's why the no huddle is so effective this year. Inside zone split, and there goes AP. And that's what I'm saying about that run. It's it's very hard to stop. A 23, like I don't understand how cornerbacks are tackling the best running back in the, in the NFL, but that's what it is. Rudolph, I need you to hold that block, buddy. And it's just like tackle. It's just like they they this it's it's so quick. It's such a quick hitting run, and you you run it run it and run it and run it and run it, and eventually they'll have to start selling out to stop it. Here I'm gonna uh, I don't know if I broke this play down or not. I'm gonna show my quick screen here, uh, just because he, he he I know he's gonna be selling up to stop the run. So it's just something. It's just something. You know, it's like um, you know, just something you have in your back pocket. And there, uh, he had a user player over there, and I'm not, I'm not going to throw out a user player on a screen pass. I'm just not into doing that anymore because it, it always, it always works out bad for me. I was actually up the other day playing a money game, and, and um, but did, like he didn't even he had, he was like 30 freaking feet away, and I, I, I passed that up and uh, on the on the on a wheel route, and he was like at the defensive end, but he ball hawked it and just boom pick. So. All right, uh, this situation, I don't really trust Gerhardt for an inch. So I'm going to go to the PA crossplay. And I'm going to wheel route Carlson like I did. I think I said that in the setup below. And you see the play action is just, they're just not, the pressure doesn't come in for whatever reason. And that's something that, uh, that is different this year than but years past. Um, it used to be when you ran play action, you would never have time, even if you even if you canceled it. But this season, it seems like if you cancel, even if you don't cancel play action, they just, you know, it'll just be, they just pick everything up. Especially if your opponent's only sending one guy. If you only send like five guys instead of six, and a lot of times you'll be fine here. So AP back to the well, uh, back to the uh, base run here. And you're just basically just powering ahead. You're taking what the defense gives you. Right now he's playing kind of contained defense where he's just trying to wrap me up. I'm like inches away from breaking it every time. Um, but it's just kind of like I'll just take what the defense gives me, and you see, you just go, 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 so fast. And and AP will have games for you. He'll have some games where he's you know 10 for 63, pretty respectable average, and then he'll have other games where he is going nuts. And there you see the pressure so hot. Josh Freeman sucks, but you know the pressure so hot that should have been an easy touchdown. That's why you got. That's why I I feel like Minnesota can run this now because Josh Freeman will is good enough to hit that. It's just there for some reason. I think it has to do some with the snow though because sometimes in snow games you just miss throws for no reason. But Josh Freeman's a really good quarterback in this year's game because of his throw power. And when you have that good throw power like that, it's very easy to hit deep streaks and stuff. And see, he's just selling out everybody against the run, and it's just a quick, it's just a quick flat pass. I'm not even have to read him. I just know that the blitz is coming, and, and it's just boom, boom, boom. It's very difficult for him to not blitz and stop and stop the run. So like, if he's stopping the run, or if he's, or if I think he's trying to sell out, or if I know that this is a situation where he's going to try to stop the run, then I know that that's also that this is a situation where he's going to have to blitz. And by knowing that he has to blitz, I can now. I can now just quick pass to, uh, to the to the running backs or the tight ends. So good drive there. All right, so three minutes left. Uh, I know I'm going to get the ball back uh, before half probably. 
So right here, we're going to play really aggressive defense. Um, you know, there's, uh, as I said before, you know, there's different times and points at which you want to play aggressive, which you want to play passive. I haven't done a great job of, of, of mastering those yet. Like, I, I know them. I know, like, 303, you're going to go really aggressive. You're trying to get the ball back. But I just haven't, uh, sometimes I just forget to do it. In the heat of the moment in the game, it's very difficult to remember. But, guys, you have to do that for you. Stop. If you, if you need to, if, oh, my gosh. Just blows my mind. Just blows my mind. Ugh. Cannot believe this. Special teams, man, it kills me every freaking game. I lost the Virgin Gaming money game because the guy kicked an onside kick and I recover and he uh, he got a flag for the uh, penalty uh, for for going too far and I didn't know that they flagged you for that. I thought it was just automatically my ball. Uh, but no, it's a penalty, so you have to accept it. So you see here how I hit X to click off a game flow. I was hitting X to click off a game flow. I ended up declining the penalty. He got the ball and beat me by by three points. Like no matter what, whatever game I play, special teams, man. Golly. But what I was gonna say was you want to play really aggressive there because what the idea is is you're gonna get another crack at the ball. And I get balled half, I think, because I kicked off. So we're actually not in a bad place right now. And maybe we can get a return. Maybe we can get a return one time. My dude flew. Dang. Uh, so here, this is actually an interesting situation. And I'm going to say, I'm actually going to tell you guys this. And, and I don't know. Leave your comments below. Tell me what you think about this idea. But right here, my goal right now is to get the ball downfield as fast as possible. And it's going to take, I'm going to take three shots at the end zone. Uh, once I get in field goal range, three shots at the end zone, and then I'm going to kick a field goal. And the reason is because what I'm what I'm playing right now is I'm playing a possession battle. So I know that I get ball at half. So if I go up 10 to 14 and I can lock him down on defense, then I have him. And if I can't lock him down on defense, I'll still leave enough time on the clock to get another crack at the ball. So I don't know. And uh, it actually wasn't a great example there because I got such a good run on first down. But the idea is... You're playing more, more or less. You're playing a possession battle. You're trying to say, okay, I need more possessions because I know my offense is really effective, and, and I know that my offense is going to score. Man, that was such a BS play, man. Rackpo over there, locking me up. But it's just all quick runs here, uh, and basically you're just trying to get downfield as fast as possible. You're in this no huddle, hurry up right now, and here ends up getting a, a big run, but. Um, uh, luckily, AP uh, is a beast. But like what I'm saying is. In that situation, if you're if if once I get into field goal range, field goal range of this game is about 30 yard line, uh, especially with the snow. I like to play about 30 yard line on in. From the 30 yard line on in, what I was going to do is I was going to run the vertical cross and I was going to throw three straight uh, streaks to the die. I was going to lob them up and and see if he was open. And if I didn't get him, then I was just gonna, I was just going to throw him out of the back of the end zone, and, and and basically conserving time and conserving timeouts. So that I could give him the ball back, like right now, at 217 with three timeouts and a two-minute warning on my side. He's going to try to push it. Hopefully, I can get a stop, maybe an interception, get the ball back and go score. Or if he scores, I can leave enough time on the clock that I could score again and then get ball half, turn all around on him. So thank, tell me what you think about that idea. I don't know. Uh, just let me know. I, I was actually kind of I was actually kind of wondering about that the other day. Uh I don't know. I think it'd be really effective because you get yourself, you give yourself, uh, you kind of hedge your bets basically. And I, I think that's something that you have to master this year, uh, with the the effectiveness that offensive has in this game. Uh, you have to master uh, hedging your bets. And there you see it again, RG three fumbles. Uh, he gets it back, of course, because no matter what, I can't stop fumbles. Uh, and also, real quick, what do you think about that situation there? Do you take a timeout over the top of two minute warning, or do you let it go to the two minute warning um, because? He could maybe throw it and throw an incomplete pass, and it would still, he'd still have time on the, or the two minute warning would run. I don't know. But you see, there's the sack, and then now you let it run. You definitely want to run it. But how long would you, how long of a window would you leave? I don't know. I've been, I've just kind of been brainstorming there uh, on some stuff. Uh, here, he's going to get the two way pressure for sure. Uh, and then we're just trying to jump the tight ends here. We just gotta watch out for tight ends. I'm gonna go ahead and use the safety here. Press him. Yes, I got him locked up. So that's exactly what I was saying. And now I get the ball at 156. I got ball at half. He's got a he's got a punt there. He's not gonna punt. Uh, and that's another thing. Do you punt there or do you give the ball quick so you can get the ball? I don't know. Just all these situations have been lately just kind of running through my head. 
Uh, and what do you call here? You send the heat. Uh, out of bounds. Yeah, but uh, what do you do? Like, I think I don't think that's actually. I really don't think that's a bad call because when you think about it, and this is kind of up to me to now chess it and clock it out properly. But it's like, what do you think about uh, in that situation? Do you go for it because you you have a chance of getting it? Obviously, you have a really good chance of getting it in this year's game. I mean, literally everything's open every play. But do you go for it? Give him the and hedge your bet because you're going to give him the ball in in basically scoring position, and then like. So that maybe you can get the ball back with a minute left, two timeouts. I don't know. I've just been like all these game, all these game plan situations are really. really don't quit the game. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Twenty minutes in, I kind of want, but I haven't showed you anything outside of that wing formation. So I'll play one more. It might be a longer. It might be a long video, guys. <sighs> People quit. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, but. Uh, that's good dialogue. I wanted. To, I, I definitely want to leave that in there because that's pretty good dialogue. See what you guys think about that stuff. Man, that's so frustrating though when people just quit the game for no reason. It was fourteen to fourteen. He just quits. Like what the heck? All right. Well, get another game in. Hybrid sniper two. Grab the Miami playbook here. Man, my ear is killing me, man. I don't know what's going on. But, uh, yeah, how would you play that stuff? That's kind of interesting because, like, I've been working on that a lot. And, like, uh, I've also been kind of trying to master when to blitz, when not to blitz. Because if you guys haven't noticed in this game, it's not about play calling. It's not about – it's all about play calling. It's not about, like, what play you have because everything's open every play on offense anyways. Like, literally, like, you could call four verticals, and I guarantee you you could move the ball down the field every time. Because it's, it's very difficult to stop everything on a route tree, everything on a play. But, like, when do you hedge your bets? How do you blitz? When do you blitz? Why do you blitz? That kind of stuff. I've been working on mastering that stuff. I feel like first down and 10, you always want to send some pressure because that way you could potentially hedge your bet to stop the run because you're sending more players. And also, you could establish pressure and then go off to the coverage defense and then get him into, like, a thir third and seven, third and eight-ish, and, and then, then lock up. I don't know. I've just been really, I've been really trying to work on my mind game this year because I have really good plays. Like I kind of mastered. I feel like I've got almost every formation in the game on lock. I got like, you know, not 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 like um, like I feel like I know how to run almost every formation in the game out of any playbook, just because like of, of general general knowledge of the game and how the game works this year. So now it's just kind of like fine tune, fine tune, fine tune what I have and and, and work. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, if you guys if you guys have a, a take on that, let me know comment section 99 comment section or hit me up on twitter i mean wherever you want to i mean we could dialogue whatever but uh it's the same thing washington's repeat offensively i mean it's it's run the ball run the ball run the ball run the ball and then hit the wheel routes and the, the wheel routes are you really do not have to leave this formation to be honest but i will show you some other stuff uh that i do run from time to time but a lot of time i really do want, i really do want to emphasize Establish that run with AP and use the freaking trucking stick and the L2. If you're about to get tackled, L2, truck stick. Almost every time. And you're going to go forward. You're going to fall forward for at least three or four. And then here's just quick snap, quick snap, quick snap. Force him to adjust to that. That was an ugly freaking run, though, by me. Uh, haven't quite mastered. It's been a while since I've ran this. Um, it's been a while since I've ran the ball this much. And then, I, then I go play action off of it because see, there's the run commit and there's the wheel route. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was saying in practice mode. When they run commit, they can't stop the wheel route. There's no way they can stop it because the hedging of your best. Because the play action play. That's why you use play action, guys. Because when they run commit, everyone blitzes right in a run commit. Everyone's gonna blitz. Everyone's gonna come forward. But the thing is, in a play action play, they're all gonna go towards the running back. So you can let the play action run and then pull it out throw it and you're got it you dot and uh that's just one little nugget and that's what i'm saying that's why you run the ball so much and then you go 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 quick snap quick snap quick snap quick snap play action and it's wide open so and it's pretty simple offense to run i mean i know <laughs> uh, i've been trying to figure out a way to kick the ball off deep without getting that happening but i haven't quite figured it out yet Another kick return. <laughs> He's gonna friendly quit me, and I'm definitely not accepting that crap. Kick return on me like garbage. Ridiculous. 
ridiculous. But yeah, I mean, what do you guys think about those game plan ideas? Uh, offensively, I mean, it's just kind of like it's all it's all kind of like alignment and off I feel like offense is just I've been, I've been also been trying to work on a mind game on offense. Like, how is what is a scheme? You know, because it's like I feel like a lot of people's schemes are just money plays, money plays, money plays, and there's no real thought process behind it. So I'm trying to work on like a thought process behind my offense because I feel like my offense is really good. Um, my offenses are really good, um, but I I feel like sometimes I miss out on the mind game. If I can get the mind game down, then it's gonna be really really good. So hopefully I can get a kick return or something here. I, I think that's the best defense. Just give up kick returns, get the ball back, try to force fumbles. I don't know, but I, I think defense is. I love playing defense this year because it's such a challenge. But at the same time, you kind of get frustrated when you have people in position and they don't make plays. That's one thing that really just drives me insane. It's like I can understand making every route in the game effective because in real life, like, you know what? I'm not gonna. Uh oh. I'm not going to return it. You guys need to see the offense a little bit more before he quits. But uh, what I was saying was, I feel like, you know, in, in real life, a lot of times, you see if, uh, you know, you s every route's pretty effective, depending on the cuts and stuff like that, of the route running the receiver versus man coverage. Why isn't that a factor? Like, if you have Richard Sherman, 99 man coverage, uh, going up against Kyle Rudolph, who doesn't have 99 man coverage, shouldn't Sherman be able to, like, predict a couple of routes that he's running? I don't know. And maybe they do. I don't know how. I don't know how they do all the ratings, but it just seems like it's. I could. I, I could put. Um, I could put Patterson out there against Browner, and and Patterson will just roast him no matter what. Counter on the run commit is actually a really good call there, and there's a touchdown. So I mean, it's it's all it's all just angles and attacking and the quick snap and the no huddle and the alignment of the formation is basically what you're looking for. You know, when they're pressed in, when they're they're packed in, you're obviously going to go with a counter. Typically, what I like to look for on the counter is if they have one guy to the left, I'll throw, I'll pretty much call it every time. If they're stacked, like if they're, because like right there, he ran commit, and what the what the counter does is it's very hard to run commit against because the way that it attack the way that it attacks is it's a stop and go run, where basically it's just setting up the edge. Man, who is this guy? I almost returned it on me again. Legarrette Blunt running kicks back. That's ridiculous. Alright. Mm, excuse me. So, locking in on the D here. Brady's one of those quarterbacks where you just want to send pressure because he's got, he, he can't run away. So, you're just kind of like, can you force him to make a bad read? Because he's a really good quarterback. Pick. Oh, he's right there! Ah! That's, the, that's why we hate Madden 25, guys. No, I'm just kidding. It's, I love the game, but man, I hate when that crap happens. Like, why would you make that? Why was... Just drives me up the wall. Why they freaking put stuff... Like, oh, just... It, don't even get me... Don't even get me going on it. Don't really need to worry about option here. This is actually a luxury play in Tom Brady. Because you don't have to worry about option. You're, you're kind of just kind of watching out for out routes. Holding, holding, holding. Pick. I need a pick or something big to happen there. I got a holdy call. First and 10, do you accept this penalty? Do you go one more down, or do you give him first and 20? Because first and 20 is actually not that bad to pick up, to be honest. I don't know. It's kind of like, uh, you have to take the yards, but at the same time, you're like, eh, I kind of wanted to accept. I, you know, I kind of want to just play the down. Because, I don't know. Max, uh, max coverage D here. Don't need a spy either against Brady. That's a good run. That's a good play call. Uh, see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Uh, 12 yards. What the freak? On a halfback base. Who the heck runs halfback base? Halfback base is actually pretty good this year. I've been running it out of the New York playbook. Alright, base play here. Pick. Oh! He was throwing it right at me. I was sitting right on it. Dang it. And see, now you're in the chess match. Now you got him because he felt the heat that time. So now he's going to call a play that's going to get the ball out of his hands quick. And you're going to hit him with the uh, the max coverage defense. Pick. He drops another pick. That's uh, like the 75th pick I've dropped in seven games. Blowing my mind right now. But you got him in fourth and eight here. Uh, so he ran two out routes on that time. So probably going to go. I'm going to go sugar blitz here. And the main reason I'm going to go Sugar Blitz here is because I have a feeling something over the middle, so I'm going to man. 
There we go. And the pressure's so hot that, it, like, if you hesitate, you got him. He wasn't going to go out. Of us. Why was he not going to go out? Of us there? It's all it's all the mind game of this game. And it's like, what do what do you want to take away when? Um, and right there, like, the max coverage D is set up to kind of just kind of see what you want to do. So we saw out route. We had out route covered there. So we figured, okay, he's not going to go back to the out route. Ended up getting the stop we needed. Uh, okay, so here I'm going to try and show you guys some of the other stuff. Um... Let's find the uh, doubles flex wing slot cross here. Really like this play. Go double wheels here. There's your run commit. That's what I'm saying. Double wheels are really effective against run commit. AP's like, get out of my way, teammates. I put the team on my back. That's a big score. I think we got the ball first. I, th I want to say we did. So, two, two touchdown lead is huge. Because he's going to get ball at half. I think I actually just called a squib kick. I literally just called a squib kick, and I didn't mean to. Let's try some squibs. 99 squib kicks. 99 squib kicks. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Give me a squib. Give me a squib. Get by him. Dang it. I haven't figured out how to squib. I don't know how. It's just Squib kicks almost works is worse than kicking the ball out of bounds. Good night. Might as well just kick. Like, seriously, I've actually considered just kicking the ball out of bounds. Because I've been running, like, uh, some of you guys are going to say, run the little short kick. I ran that, like, three times. Uh, I've got to take it back on me, like, six. Like, I get I get kicks taken back on me more than I actually kick off. And there's the balance. You see the balance of the nickel normal? It's not the best run defense in the world. It's not the best formation in the world. But it's very balanced. And it forces, it forces your opponent to have to at least, you know, kind of deal with guys in the way. There's the base. You see, he kind of has to deal with a guy in the way. It's not necessarily that the run defense is so good. It's just the fact that he has. To, there's someone always in his way. So last time he went three or four verticals. Uh, this time he's probably going to go to the out routes. I'm assuming here. So and he hasn't been able to pick up the pressure off the right. So I'm just going to keep sending it. Yep. There's a wheel. Yep. There's an out. <laughs> can't tackle either you can't tackle on the sideline why why can't we tackle on the sideline why I'm freaking jamming uh uh I want to quit now I'm up by 14 and I want to quit the game that's how mad I get at this stupid thing like why would you uh, trying to tackle the dude on the sideline and just nothing just right he's just like he's like I don't know how to tackle coach well, you're in the NFL freaking idiot all right, uh, 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 we'll go cover zero blitz here, definitely. And we're going to leave the middle linebacker blitzing. The reason why we're going to leave the middle linebacker blitzing for the run, because he's probably going to run the ball here. Yep, run. And there you see it. Yeah, that's the run D. Welcome. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. Best run D in Madden. No, I'm just kidding. It's not the best, but it's actually really good. Uh, really, really good in my opinion. Uh, here is where you go max coverage. Uh, remember, we like the, the nine Velcro here. And remember, we just want to yellow the corners. Are the guys in deep blues? We want to yellow them, and you see just smotherage. And he still completes a pass. Like he still completes a pass. This is freaking. P oh. How do you complete a pass like that? Like this just blows my mind. All right, here. Uh, probably gonna be. Oh shoot. Are you serious? Like, literally, I think he just closes his eyes and throws the ball. Man. I shouldn't have called that play, though. I should have. That max coverage defense is too good. Like, third and five, what do you do? You call max coverage? But, like, at the same time, like, he hasn't really done a good. He hasn't been doing great with the pressure. But, and he hasn't seen man. He's seen man, like, two times. Like, I felt like that was a good call of Sugar Blitz there. I don't know. Threw right at my guy, but that, I don't know. Normally, man coverage stops that route, too. That's what blew my mind because it was a little spot route. Normally, man coverage will sit on it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm overthinking his offense too much. It's just simply just throw. He, I literally think he just closes his eyes and throws the ball. Like, come on. All right, so uh, let's see if we can get into that PA wide receiver in here. Get some passing going.
something he hasn't seen yet, so I figure. Oh my gosh, Freeman. That was a dumb call. That was just a dumb call. That was just a dumb call. Freeman just threw the ball into Mars. Like, ugh. Dang. Like, literally, I think Josh Freeman was like, I'm trying to throw it to Mars, coach. I don't know what. Who was I throwing to? Like, come on, man. Uh, I still like Man. I think Man uh, is giving him trouble. So we'll see. There, yep, yep, yep. See, the pressure gets in so hot, they sick with. But Zone is like, Zone's like more of a, you, you know, you kind of just kind of gamble. But like Man, it sticks with you long enough. So, I think Man's gonna be the way to go on this guy. I have a feeling. I got a feeling. We're going to feeling. Come on. Let me put the... Die. You gotta be... Oh, thank God. Good night. That's why you get at Everson Group. That's one thing, too. Like, they, nobody ever gets double teamed for some reason. I don't know. It's bullcrap. I know. See, like, I like man because, like... I don't know. It just seems like he... Like, look at this lag. This is driving me up the wall. Look at this. I can't even do anything. And, yep, that's wide open. Gosh, dang it. Like, look at this. How the freak are you? Uh, here you go. I have a feel, I, I like max coverage here. I uh, I really used to like blitz. I, I normally would blitz, but, like, I just feel like max coverage is going to be the answer. And, yeah, no, it's not. Everyone's open. Everyone's open. It's Madden 25. What am I thinking? Everyone's open. Freaking ridiculous! What would you guys do? Fourth and five, and you—I mean, it's lagging. What would you do? What would you call out of the, out of the play out of the plays I gave you this week? I'm just curious. I can't even. This has the least adjustments out of any scheme I've ever made, and I can't even make them just because the lag is so much bull crap. Alright, he's blocking a running back. I, I noticed that. So, I put the dude in a purple zone, but he decided he was going to play a, a quarterback spy or whatever the crap he wanted to play. So, that's cool. Yeah, I really like man for this guy. Like, Oh my gosh. You gotta be. Mm. Wow. Mm. Fight for me. This is the ugliest, laggiest, bulliest BS game. Ugh. Now it lagged. Now look at it lagging. That's retarded. Did you see that? As soon as he scores a touchdown, it's like, heh. Now you can adjust. Try to stop special teams field goal block. I bet you can't do it. Kick return middle. Yes, I got to call a play now. It's not even a good example. It's not even good. Like you saw the offense, you saw the defense, but I don't know. I feel like there should be. All right. See now it's not gonna lag because I got the ball. It's gonna definitely let him adjust. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoopsies. Dang it. See, like as soon as I try to break one off, it starts lagging again. Don't you quit this game. Don't you dare quit this game. Don't offer me a friendly quit either. You're not getting one. Nope. Declined, bro. Declined. I don't know. What are you guys saying? What are you guys saying? Oh, yeah, be quit. Okay, so that's the scheme. I mean, pretty simple. I mean, you saw... It's mainly the normal wing. It's it's kind of I mean I mix in the the doubles flex. I don't really use the other stuff uh, for the most part. It's kind of like a quick snap kind of offense, and I like it that like that. I don't know. Uh, try it out. See what you guys think. The defense was really actually was it was actually pretty good. The two games you got to see were pretty good examples of the defense. Obviously, uh, I got to learn how to stop kick returns, which I'll go work on now. Um, and I may just have to start kicking short again. I don't know, but. Uh, the the offense is 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 really simple. It's it's meat and potatoes. You're just kind of running the ball straight at the at the defensive line, and 
it, it basically the idea behind it is you're running inside, 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 and all of a sudden you hit outside. If they stop that, then you go to the wheel, and then if they stop that, then you go to another formation entirely. Typically, what will happen is they won't be able to stop um, the first three things that I said. You won't have to get out of it. But if you do have to get out of it, uh, just you know, learn the reads on the plays that I gave you, the, the plays that I gave you this week. Uh, be sure you know them like the back of your hand, just so you know if you need to get out of them, you always have something else to go to. That's kind of the idea there. But uh, typically, you won't have to. I think I showed that today. Uh, when I got out of it, I threw the pick. Uh, Freeman does not have the best accuracy. That's one of the main reasons why I don't get out of the nor why I, I, I normally will stay in that formation, uh, the base formation, because they, number one, I, I rarely ever have to get out of it, but number two, Freeman's not a great, uh, for some reason, he just doesn't have that good accuracy uh, in this game, uh, even though every other quarterback can throw like Peyton Manning, but it's like, it just, I feel like I don't have to get out of it, so why bother? And you saw, I mean, he, I, I made the right read, I mean, I had the, the deep post, it's just, he just overthrew it, so, uh, just check it, check it out, guys. Uh, another team that you may think about for this offense is certainly the 49ers. Uh, I ran this with the 49ers a lot. Um, Seahawks, I would recommend the Seahawks because they don't have a home run hitting back. Lynch is a beast mode back, but he's not like that home run hitter. In my opinion, he's getting there. He's got like, yeah, 90 speed now. If he, ever, if he gets up to like 93 speed, uh, I definitely would run this with the Seahawks. So... Thanks for watching today, guys. Really appreciate it. And another great opportunity to share with you guys. I'm sorry about the qual uh, the, the lag and stuff. It, it really pissed me off. But it's part of playing online head-to-head. -head. That's kind of what you get. So uh, if you guys want to, uh, what I'm looking to do now is I'm looking to get subscriber games. Uh, so if you want a subscriber game, I'm on Xbox and I'm on PS3. Uh, so hit me up and we'll try to get a subscriber game. I can't record on PS3 anymore. Uh, I have to record on Xbox, so if I'm going to be doing uh, subscriber games normally and I'm going to post them, then it will be on the Xbox 360 console. My uh, my name here, uh, let's see what my name is. My name is CN Ballard 0531 right? Maybe. I don't even know my own name. Yeah, that's my name. Okay, so my name is CN Ballard 0531 on Xbox 360. Um, what the heck? That's not what I'm trying to do. What is my name? See, I haven't even figured, I don't even know how to use an Xbox. Let's see what my name is, guys. I bet you my name's C. M. Ballard. Must start a party. Look at that. That's my name. C. M. Ballard 0531. Hit me up, guys, on Xbox. You want a subscriber game? I'll try to get one of them in a week. Uh, first come, first serve basis. Hit me up in the comments. Hit me up on Xbox. Hit me up on my email. I don't care where you... Twitter. I don't care. Uh, just hit me up. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you didn't enjoy the video, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't pick who I play, unfortunately. So that's just kind of the way it goes. But I think it did do a good job of showing you the defense, which is what I really wanted to focus on. I also wanted to focus on when to when to throw wheel, when to when to get out of the run. But I I do think that that you need to be running the ball uh, out of that normal out of that formation. I was uh, out of the base formation uh, 20 times a game. I think that run is so effective that with Adrian Peterson, it's very easy to rack up two 300 yards rushing a, uh, a day. So be sure to check that out, guys. Once again, uh, another great opportunity to share with you guys. Uh, I thank I, I thank you for it every day, and uh, hopefully this video is helpful to you. If it's not, once again, uh, I'm sorry, but sign up for a subscriber game, and we'll get a game, and maybe it'll be a better competition. Thanks for watching. See you later.